Hey everyone, welcome to Day Deal on Display, daydeal.com's own YouTube channel regarding product previews, reviews, and demonstrations. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Cedio Convert case for the HTC Thunderbolt. You're more than welcome to check this case out at its official website at any time, and that's going to be located at www.cedioonline.com. Now before we get things rolling, we highly encourage you guys to go ahead and head over to cedioonline.com click on the HTC Thunderbolt category and check out all the great stuff that Cedio has for your phone. Now the reason we want to uh, throw that out there is because this video review will actually make a lot more sense to you once you see all the accessories that are available for the Thunderbolt from Cedio. Reason being is because if you're new to Cedio as a brand, you're not familiar with them, and you're new to our channel as well, you've never seen us do a review uh, of a Cedio case, um, Cedio has a very component approach to their accessories, meaning that you can actually buy one thing and you can add other stuff to it to either enhance it, make it more useful, or completely change it into something else, and hence why we're looking at the convert case today. Now, the convert case is actually made of the Sadio Surface case, which you can use by itself, and we actually have a video review of it on our channel as well. You're more than welcome to check it out. And it's comprised of these four pieces on the right-hand side right here. A silicone skin, a hardened polycarbonate skeletal frame, a bell clip holster, as well as a screen protector for your Thunderbolt. These actually add on to the Surface case and turn it into the Convert case, hence its name, Convert. Um, but that's just kind of a, a cute little thing that they uh, named it. I also want to mention that uh, to add on to this confusion, the Convert case is actually the rugged case in the past. So if you've been a Cedio fan and you've bought a lot of their products and you're wondering, hey, where the hell did their <laughs> rugged cases go? I really like that cover. Well, now they call it the Convert case because they're trying to make sure it always attaches to the uh, Cedio Surface case that they have for the phone. So it is kind of cool. It is a little bit confusing as well as you've been a long time fan of them. So uh, that's all I have to say about that without getting too much into it. Now we're going to go ahead and get things started with the uh, screen protector right here for the convert case. Nothing out of the ordinary. It's your typical screen protector. Comes with the uh, a microfiber cleaning cloth, a little applicator card, and of course the screen protector itself. I do get a lot of questions from people through private messaging as well as email uh, whenever they buy a case. In this uh, regard, a Sadio case, you know, can I go ahead and use a screen protector with it? Will it be A-OK? -okay? Will it go ahead and bubble up? And my answer is, if you have a Sadio product, get a Sadio screen protector. It's that simple. Uh, it'll make your life a lot easier and it'll always work with these cases regardless of which one one you use because they even say so themselves. You're more than welcome to use it. They have it specifically cut and fit where you install it perfectly, you will be fine. Okay. Um, now to get things started, I want to let you guys know as well that we'll be using this uh, OEM display version of the Thunderbolt. It's not the live phone, we know, but this is the official display model. It is from Verizon, uh, and it's the same display model that they would show you at any store where they would sell the HTC Thunderbolt right before they give you the pen and paper to sign that to your contract and then actually hand you over the phone. <laughs> so if you know what I'm talking about, there you go. And uh, we can just want to guarantee you guys that uh, when we install this, uh, on the display model, it's going to look the same on your live phone, okay? Just uh, take our word for it. Now, the first layer of the convert case is actually the Cedio Surface case for the HTC Thunderbolt. You can check out the video that we have on it online. We're not going to go too much into detail about it because we want to move things forward. Of course, the uh, the kit itself is always in a black color. If you want a different color, you know, use common sense. Just buy a different color version of the uh, Cedio Surface case and then go ahead and buy in the add-on kit. And then uh, there you go. You have a different version of the convert case. You don't have to be stuck with black. Installation is pretty straightforward for the uh, Surface. Slide these two pieces together, make sure it locks into place. There you go, done. Moving on to the second layer, you actually have a silicone skin that wraps around the surface case. A pretty fancy design if you're not used to seeing it, but then again, also very straightforward. I'll go and talk more about uh, this once I have everything installed into place, but I just want to kind of give you this installation walkthrough. Moving on to our third layer is this a polycarbonate skeletal frame. It sounds fancy, it looks fancy. All it really does is reinforce the skin and make sure it sticks on to the surface case. So think of it kind of like a claw holding everything into place. There are grooves lined up, so you can never really uh, uninstall this the incorrect way. All you have to do is make sure to line up the grooves correctly. Make sure that dust cover is uh, put on through first. Give it a nice squeeze. Reposition your dust cover correctly. 
and there you have it this is how the convert looks on the HTC Thunderbolt now we will uh, talk about the belt clip at the end of the video but uh, not right now because I want to focus on this case first and give you a quick 360 tour now showing you the lip that is created from the convert case on the HTC Thunderbolt. This is a rugged case. Uh, actually, this is what the uh, remember the convert case was used to be named the rugged. So it's very thick. It's very protective of your phone. It's a very heavy duty cover, and uh, we mean that it's uh, uh, you know literally as well. It's heavy as well as it is bulky. But if you need protection for your phone, this is a really good choice. The lip that is created is very thick as it is wide, and you're supposed to be using this in conjunction with the screen protector as well. So that means that a if you rest your phone on its face, it's always be up and away from the surface which is a good thing the screen protector will go and take care of the rest should anything be small enough to fit within that uh, little void space right there and B should you happen to drop your phone uh, from a pretty considerable height or with a certain amount of force because we think this is a pretty rugged cover um, your Thunderbolt should be fine we would see no issues with it getting damaged in any way as long as the lip catches the impact first very thick very hardy Moving on to the top, we have a covering for the power button. Just stick out a little bit, makes it easy to press, as you can see right there. Not too shabby. There's also a dust cover for the audio jack, which is cool. I want to mention that the audio jack is recessed quite a bit, so that means that you should be using straight angle connectors uh, with your audio jacks. If you have a 90 degree connector, in other words, it has like a bent angle to it, um, you might have some problem with it fitting uh, flush uh, on your Thunderbolt due to the uh, HTC, I'm sorry, due to the uh, Cedio convert case, so just go and keep that in mind. You want to stick with the straight angle connectors. We went to the side, show you the dust cover for the USB port. Not surprising there. Clean cut, sits flush with the case, so that looks pretty cool. On the other side, we have a covering for the volume up and down rockers, in other words, the volume up and down buttons. Not as nice as the power switch, to be honest with you, because it doesn't stick out that much, but it does do its job, so it is a little bit hard to press. On the bottom, you have a cutout for the microphone. No surprises there. Now, due to the recessed nature of the microphone, you might want to talk a little bit louder while the convert case is on your phone. So just go and keep that in mind. Of course, if you're using Bluetooth or anything like that, you're, <laughs> you're going to be more than A-OK. -okay. No need to worry about that. On the back, an opening for the kickstand. Pretty self-explanatory. As well as a dust cover for the LED flash, as well as the camera lens on your phone. Now moving on to the final component of the uh, convert case from Sadio is the actual belt clip holster. This is made to be used in conjunction with your completed convert uh, case that's outside of the holster itself. On the back, the belt clip does rotate 180, degree, 180 degrees in total, excuse me, 90 degrees to the left as well as 90 degrees to the right. No surprises there. Your standard spring hinge belt clip, you do want to be a little bit careful with that. Unfortunately, Sadio still uses spring hinges in this day and age. We're not too sure why. Uh, they really need to switch over to metal hinges. But in any case, there you go. And there's actually a little lock mechanism, which I'll show you right now while I install the phone into it. Now, this is a face-in design. So for obvious reasons, you want to follow their advice. Make sure to put your phone face in. And once you have it face in, you can actually lock it into place. See, lock up, unlock down. If I press up on this little mechanism right here, it locks the claw into place. You actually can't bend it out anymore. And that way, this always ensures your phone is stuck to that holster. So as long as the belt clip is stuck to you, your phone is stuck to you, uh, <laughs> theoretically speaking. Okay, But of course, like we said, spring hinge, you might want to be a little bit more careful with that. So should you need to remove your phone and make sure it's not secure anymore, just go and unlock that switch. The claw gets loose, and you can go and pry out your Thunderbolt from the clutches of the belt clip holster. So a very cool design. So that is it for the Sedio Convert case for the HTC Thunderbolts. We hope you found this review useful. If you are totally confused and not too sure what you just saw in the last couple of minutes, head over to the official website www.sedio online. Click on the HTC Thunderbolt category and check out the plethora of accessories Sedio has for you. You would not be disappointed. Keep following us on our YouTube channel, Day Deal on Display. For more product previews, reviews, and demonstrations, this video went longer than I expected. But in any case, thanks as always for bearing with me and watching.